Unit 6, Lesson 3, Staying in Balance. Number 1. Select all the equations that represent the hanger. I selected A, X plus X plus X equals 1 plus 1 plus 1 plus 1 plus 1 plus 1. And I selected C, 3X equals 6, or 3 times X equals 6. Number 2. Write an equation to represent each hanger. A. 2x plus 3 or 2 times x plus 3. B. W plus 1 and 3 tenths equals 2 and 7 tenths. C. 3y equals 5 and 1 tenth or 3 times y equals 5 and 1 tenth. D z plus one-third equals one-half. Number three. A. Write an equation to represent the hanger. 2x equals 14 and 62 hundredths, or 2 times x equals 14 and 62 hundredths. B. Explain how to reason with the hanger to find the value of x. Well, I wrote an answer in green. To find the value of x, I would remove half of the two x's, leaving just one x. I would also have to remove half of the value on the other side of the hanger to keep it balanced. C. Explain how to reason with the equation to find the value of x. On the right hand side underneath the hanger I wrote in red, 2x equals 14 and 62 hundredths. I would divide the 2x by 2 to make just 1x because I want to find the value of just 1x. And since I divided the 2x side by 2, I'd need to divide the other side by 2. So 14 and 62 hundredths divided by 2 is 7 and 31 hundredths. So the value for 1x on that hanger would be 7 and 31 hundredths. Number 4. Andre says that x is 7 because he can move the two ones with the x to the other side. Do you agree with Andre? Explain your reasoning. No, I don't agree with Andre because moving the two ones to the other side would not be balanced. If x plus 1 plus 1 balances with 1 plus 1 plus 1 plus 1 plus 1, that's like saying x plus 2 balances with 5. And if Andre were to take the two ones from the x side and add it to the five on the other side, x would not be balanced with seven because this illustration shows that x plus two balances with five. Number five, match each equation to one of the diagrams. I matched A, 12 minus m equals four with diagram B because four plus m equals 12 which also means that 12 minus m equals 4. B. I matched B, 12 equals 4m, with D, because 4m's added up equals 12. C. I matched C, m minus 4 equals 12, with A, because the diagram shows that 12 plus 4 is the same length as m, so m minus 4 would equal 12. D. M over 4 equals 12, or M divided by 4 equals 12. I matched that with C because 12 times 4 equals M, as shown in the diagram, so M divided by 4 would equal 12. Number 6. The area of a rectangle is 14 square units. It has side lengths A and B. Given the following values for A, find B. Number one, A equals two and one third. So remember the area equals base times height, and they gave us the area, which was 14. So 14 equals two and one third times the height, or two and one third times the unknown number. 14 divided by two and one third would give us the unknown number. 14 divided by two and one third is the same as 14 divided by seven thirds. We can find that answer by multiplying 14 by the reciprocal of 7 thirds. 14 times 3 sevenths equals 6. B equals 6. Number 2. 
a equals four and one fifth. So the area equals four and one fifth times an unknown number. And they told us that the area was 14. So 14 equals four and one fifth times an unknown number. And to figure out what that unknown number is, we can do 14 divided by four and one fifths or 14 divided by 21 fifths equals the unknown number. We can find that answer by multiplying 14 by the reciprocal of 21 fifths. 14 times 5 over 21 equals 10 thirds or 3 and 1 third. B equals 3 and 1 third. 3. A equals 7 sixths. The area equals 7 sixths times an unknown number. So we know the area is 14. So 14 equals 7 sixths times an unknown number. 14 divided by 7 sixths will tell us what the unknown number is. And we can do that by multiplying 14 by the reciprocal of 7 sixths. 14 times 6 sevenths equals 12. B equals 12. Number 7. Lynn needs to save up $20 for a new game. How much money does she have if she has saved the following percentages of her goal? Explain your reasoning. A. 25%. So if she's saved 25% of $20, we can figure that out by making a chart like the one I made above. $20 represents 100% of her goal. I can figure out what 25% is by dividing 100% by 4 to get 25% and dividing 20 by 4 to get 5. So I know that 25% of her goal would be $5 or $5 is 25% of her goal. B. 75%. If she saved up 75% of her goal, that would be 3 times greater than 25%. So what's 3 times greater than 5? 15. So 75% would be $15. C. 125% of her goal. Well, 100% of her goal would be $20, and 25% of her goal is $5. So $20 plus $5 is $25. 125% of her goal is $25. Congratulations! You have completed Unit 6, Lesson 3, Staying in Balance. 